2023 for the NASCAR Cup Series had some dramatic moments, some first-time events, and things we'd like to see again. Yeah, winners in victory lane that maybe hadn't been there before. Let's recap some of the best of 2023. Hi, everyone. Dave Burns along with Dale Jarrett and Kyle Petty looking back at the season that almost was one more race weekend to crown a champion. But guys, we know uh, there have been things that we saw this this year that stood out to us that were important, that were important for the sport in NASCAR's 75th year of racing. Um, DJ, let me start with you. And let's just pick a moment that you thought was really noteworthy, whether it was a win or whether it was something else uh, regarding the 23 season. Well, Dave, yeah, I'm going to go in the direction when you talk about 75 years. It took us 75 years to have a street race uh, in NASCAR. And, and that Chicago street race uh, turned out to be phenomenal. Yeah, the weather um, didn't cooperate on race day, uh, but um, it nothing disappointed about the weekend. They did a, a phenomenal job of, of preparing the streets of Chicago and making it uh, an event that fans wanted to come see, and the racing uh, did not let us down either. Uh, it was just incredible, and I think that it was just a step. It wasn't something that we had to have to, to make NASCAR racing uh, noteworthy, if you will, uh, but to me, it was an event that stood out and kind of separated itself from the rest of the things that happened during the year. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, the, the footage that we used in the opening here uh, of Ryan Priest. Uh, I, I think there has been a lot said about this car over the last year and a half to two years. Uh, we've seen drivers in accidents uh, that seemingly were, were just a, 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 a standard spin and back into the wall, who have had, gone through concussion protocol, who have had to, to end their careers because of it. We see this accident and this car after NASCAR has continued over the last 12 months, over the last 16 months, to try to improve it. As it was too stiff, they softened it, they did things. Uh, and this wreck was just horrendous, man. It was so violent when you see it get up in the air and pirouette and the hot times he hits. But the next week, Ryan Priest is back in a car racing again. Hmm. There is nothing safe about motorsports, nothing at all. And we're always going to have these, these incidents. And when danger is always there. It's always lurking. But when you see an accident like this, uh, I, I think it's an eye opener. It's a wake up call, but it's also a tribute to what NASCAR has done with these cars and what these crews do to these cars to make them safer by having Ryan Priest walk away from that and come back the following week. And Kyle, you mentioned a lot of the work that went into that before that wreck happened. It's, a, it's an evolution of that quote unquote brand new car. I'm wondering then if maybe that was an expectation that someone would walk away from something like that or if it was maybe one of the bigger surprises to you. Uh, this season? If not that, uh, was there something that stood out to you as, hey, I wasn't expecting that? As, yeah, the, my biggest surprise this season is Chris Buescher and RFK. Um, hmm. I mean, my gosh, dude, uh, within the second year of, of, of really Brad going over there and looking at some of this stuff for second or third year, these guys are just, they're there. We saw Chris Buescher win at, at on a short, I don't know, a short track. We see him win at Michigan. We see him win just about anywhere he goes. Uh, he makes it to the final eight. Uh, and I didn't have that. I, I, I'm, listen, that was a that was a um, uh, a column buster or a round buster for me from the very beginning. But and over the last few weeks, we've seen Brad Kay just run up front and lead laps. So I think my biggest surprise is that team. But Chris Buescher in particular. Well, this has to be the biggest surprise because that's exactly what's on my paper right in front of me, that that I went the same direction, uh, Chris Buescher and, and RFK. Brad Keselowski has done just an outstanding job of going over there, taking the reins, making this team relevant once again to give Chris Buescher the opportunity to showcase the talents that he has. You know, he showed us in the Xfinity Series a number of years ago uh, in winning championship there that he's capable of, of getting the job done on a lot of different type of racetracks. But as KB was pointing out there, you know, he won on different types of tracks. He did everything that he needed to do, uh, got himself through to the, the round of eight. You know, he even impressed me enough that I got crazy and said, I thought he might be in the championship four, uh, battling for a win this weekend. But uh, that that's how good they were and how impressive it was. Yeah, Brad didn't get his win, uh, but this driver and this race team are going to be a, a team that we're going to talk more about in a very positive way in the coming years. Hey, I can't let you guys go without getting your final thought 
on Kevin Harvick. Last uh, scheduled race for him this weekend. Uh, DJ, um, favorite Harvick moment from his whole career? Gosh, you know, we could do a number of shows with this, with everything that, that Kevin Harvick has done. Uh, I mean, you go all the way back to that first win. What an emotional day, an incredible uh, feat that was to, to do what he did um, to, to get that victory at Atlanta. Uh, but I'm going to move past that and just go because when I saw him win his championship and what that meant to him uh, uh, that day at Homestead, that, that was just an incredible incredible feeling to to understand what that was about and, and to see that and so um you know this this man is a champion in many many ways and so i'm going to go uh well with the win there and and the season that they had which was just incredible yeah and, and i listen i agree I, I agree that those two moments that dale mentioned are the bookends of, of kevin harvick's career uh that 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 emotion from that championship uh but i go back and, and they've played it a lot this year they've played that 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 win at Atlanta with him coming to the line with Jeff Gordon and then that victory lane interview. I don't know how you can script it any different, Tom. As everybody can know, I'm sure this is gonna be uh, pretty difficult for all of us, but uh, none of us expected this this soon and the unfortunate circumstances. And all I got to say is this one's for Dale. Uh, I think he was as surprised as every other Richard Childress <laughs> RCR fan, every other Earnhardt fan, every other driver that he was standing there in victory lane. Um, but you saw that glimpse of what was going to be. You saw yep. that glimpse and, and were able to look into the future in that one moment of what that career could have been. And uh, I think those two moments define Kevin Harvick, that very first win and that championship win uh, and what Kevin Harvick has meant to the sport. I got started in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series in 1999 and Kevin, the kid Harvick was just getting started. It has been a great ride. We'll be sad to see him go, but he'll be around. Thanks for watching NASCAR America Motor Mouth, presented by Toyota. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.